globalization and print production techniques. Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture on globalization and print production techniques. This lecture is a part of your paper on media and globalization. In this lecture, we will learn the various print production techniques used globally and can understand the relevance of using appropriate technology for the particular tasks. This lecture will also make us aware of the specific stages of print production. Introduction In the context of globalization of media, the technological achievements in media productions have gained much prominence. Call 2011 suggests that the technologically promising is the growing multimedialism which connects several types of media on one platform. It touches television, multimedia web, broadcasting and even print. The goal of any printed document is to communicate the message effectively to the target audience. These printed documents can include books, newspapers, flyers, posters and catalogs, etc. Someone's desire to disseminate their message ends when it reaches the target audience. It is not restricted to only one target or reader but can connect thousands and millions of readers anywhere in the world. In this lecture, we will understand how print documents are made and what are the various features of print production techniques. Broadly, every media production has three stages. Pre-production, production and post-production. This rule applies to almost all the media productions, whether it is film, TV or print production. In addition, world's latest trends of printing industry will also be analyzed in this lecture. Let us begin with the question, what is print production? Print production can be referred as a process which combines various tasks related to print media. It uses a computer and specific types of software to combine text and graphics to produce print documents. The end results can be distributed in print documents or can be processed for electronic distribution such as emailers, uploading of online documents on the websites so that they can be distributed anywhere in the world. Print buyers often confuse the term print production with graphic design. These are different in many ways. Some example might help in understanding this. The author of the book is different from the editor of the same book. Both have different styles of working for the book. The manufacturer of a medicine works differently from a researcher who recommends the new inventions based on the medicine research. Now we can identify that there is a clear difference between print production and graphic design. Though graphic design is one of the most important parts of print production, but we cannot overlook the other processes of print production. Brief history of print press and its global spread. The printing press has played a great role in the history of media and globalization. Prior to the printing press, the production of documents was slow and expensive. With the advent of printing press, reading material has become cheap and can be circulated easily. The explosive flow of economic, cultural and political ideas around the world connected people. The processes of globalization were inextricably linked to development of the printing press.
There is a long history behind the printing or the process of reproducing text and images. In the 2nd century AD, China invented three necessary elements of printing, paper, ink and engraving. Printing became mechanized after the invention of movable type system by Johannes Gutenberg in the 15th century, circa 2009. And so the international spread of the printing press began. However, the history of printing goes back much further in time. According to Kiffin, 2001, the Middle Age were a time of extensive writing and design. The carriers of written characteristics and text were clay, stone, wood, silk, etc. In the 7th century, paper from China reached the Middle East and from there, Spain and the rest of the Europe. The method of block printing was invented by the Chinese monks more than 600 years before Gutenberg. In this method, the ink coated wooden blocks pressed on the sheet of paper. In 1040 AD, Bai Sheng from China invented first movable type of printing press which can be considered as an important invention in the history of printing because of its fast speed of printed sheets. Later, the Europeans actually embraced the technique of movable type and Gutenberg is usually cited as the inventor of the printing press. He revolutionized the printing technology and enabled mass production of books and other printed material. In other words, he made information flow possible through books throughout Europe. Gutenberg also introduced oil-based ink, which was more durable than previously used water-based inks. Almost after one year of printing, Gutenberg Bible, he had also started publishing colored prints. Modern printing technology, global trends. The globalization of modern printing technologies and convergence of digital publishing practices, the printing industry has been further transformed. According to the report by smithaspira.com, the global printing industry is forecast to reach $980 billion by 2018. Global printing markets are changing. Many publishing products have electronic versions replacing previously printed volumes. Online newspapers, magazines and e-books are becoming more and more popular. While the printing and printed packaging sectors are global, regionally there are very different market developments with the more mature sectors providing technology transfer and second-hand equipment into the emerging regions. Many customers are global, with advertisers, publishers and packaging buyers demanding high-quality, consistent products everywhere. According to Professor Kamal M. Chopra, the history of printing is the history of civilization itself. There have been many transformations from the early age of block printing letter pressed to offset then digital to now printing electronics and 3D printing is one of the most exciting and talked about technologies of today. The one trend that profoundly changed the printing industry is the electronic delivery of files. The concept of workflow digitization has become one of the most important printing industry trends where internet and desktop publishing have taken full control of the printing process. The files are delivered electronically that would link customers, print personnel, printing systems and other services globally like never before. The trend of technology integration is also growing rapidly. 
It allows cross-media conversion from one file to any information distribution or electronic publishing methods. Printing presses are now shifting towards automation as the development of new imaging technologies such as computer to plate allows print personnel to convert output directly to a printing plate, Romano 2004. Software for print production. Choosing the right programs, application software for specific task is an important part of the print publishing. These programs offer all kinds of features to modify the text, graphic and images and combine them to create high quality pages. Page layout software such as InDesign and Quark Express are the most popular among the publishing industry and the files made in these software can be easily optimized for digital publishing with PDF files, ebooks formats and even offer tools for laying out a website. These programs allow control of every element such as fonts, character spacing, word spacing and line spacing of text and color size and resolution of graphics of a page of any size the printing device can handle. Photoshop is one of the most popular image editing software in the world. It can be used to work with images that have been digitized on scanners or to create original artwork. The image files, documents created in Photoshop can be printed on paper or optimized for use in multimedia presentations, web pages or animations, video projects. New advancements. Due to advancements and the new inventions, the world's printing technology is rapidly changing. To compare with the market, the professional printers are forced to upgrade their machinery as well as their skills of their manpower. There are various printing processes available in the market according to the requirement of the job. According to Sarkar 2009, these processes can be broadly divided into three categories. On-demand printing, major printing and specialized printing. Today, on-demand printing or digital printing has become one of the most sought-after printing processes among the big publishing houses and even among the end users. It has revolutionized the publishing industry in the Western countries. New machines from Xerox and Kodak have eliminated the need for companies and difficult pre-press work. In India, its influence is felt in all sorts of print documents. Sarkar 2009, digital gives end users or customers a platform to publish anything at a very short notice. For publishers, it has become a cost-effective way of publishing. Books are generally printed when there is demand appears in the market or from the retailers. The publishers keep the digital files to the manuscript in the computers ready so that they can print the books according to the orders received from the market. There are various advantages linked to digital printing. No need to create physical stocks or making of warehouses for storage, which costs much higher in the industrial land or space. The manuscript is always ready for sale anywhere in the world. It is dynamic in nature, where publishers or users have the ability to make amendments just before the printing. It gives power to self-publishers, authors, who can print their books by spending mere amount. No upfront investment is required. With the arrival of modern digital machines in the market, the printing quality has become very good and it almost matches the quality of offset printing. Major printing processes. Most printing jobs are done by major printing. Sarkar 2009 defined four types of major printing processes. Relief, planography, intaglio and stencil. The two types of commercial printing that are classified as relief printings or letterpress and flexography. In both cases, the image to be transferred to paper or other substrate is raised above the surface of the printing plate. Ink is applied to the raised surface and then the plate is rolled or stamped onto the substrate. The relief printing process is similar to using an ink pad or rubber stamp. Flexography printing is typically used in for paper 
and plastic packaging including bags, milk cartons, labels, food wrappers but it can be used on just about any substrate including corrugated cardboard, fabric and metallic film. Flexography is a modern version of the letterpress. It uses quick drying inks and is commodity used for long press runs. Flexography is a high speed printing method. Letterpress is the oldest form of printing. When offset printing was invented, it replaced letterpress as the preferred printing method for newspapers, books and many other print products. Letterpress printing is now viewed as a craft and it is still used and valued for limited edition art prints, limited edition books, high-end greeting cards, business cards, letterhead and wedding invitations. Offset printing is one of the most popular printing methods these days. The offset printing is based on the planography printing process in which the image is printed on the flat surface. This technique of printing separates ink and non-ink area on a flat surface. It is used for long press runs and bulk printing. Intaglio printing is the opposite of relief printing in that the printing is done from the ink that is below the surface of the plate. The design is cut, scratched or edged into the printing surface or plate which can be copper, zinc, aluminium, magnesium, plastics or even coated paper. Screen printing is a process in which ink is forged through a screen. The screen printing stencils serve as a printing plate. The screen is a fine fabric made of natural silk, plastic or metal fibers. Nowadays, plastic or metal fabric is generally used. In this process, the printing involves the passing of the ink or any other printing medium through stencils, which has been exposed to a mesh or screen that has been stretched on a wooden or metal frame. Sarkar defined specialized printing as a selective method and can be an expensive process, especially when a large number of copies are required. Some special effects created by this process are raised images, shiny foil images, 3D images on 2D space. These effects may be obtained by thermography, dye stamping, hot foil stamping and hologram printing. Modern printing technologies are based on the numerous inventions happening in the field. In recent years, information and communication technologies have made the significant changes in the printing industry and the trend is continuing. Modern print technologies are transforming the way of printing and its processes. The advanced digital printers have totally changed the way of publications, their production and the distribution globally. It has been seen that many countries are outsourcing their printing jobs to another countries where publications need to be sold or distributed. The same titles are printed in different countries to save costs on marketing, content creation and research and development. Stages of print production The print production process includes various steps and procedures which help the production team to outline the development plan for print communication in the form of books, magazine, poster and the like. This process is meant to be a guideline for the production personnel where they can work according to the defined stages of print production. This process may include different stages similar to electronic media production which is based on the three major steps pre-production, production and post-production. All these stages are interconnected with each other based on the flow of materials such as printed plates between pre-press and printed sheets between press and post-press. Kiffin 2001 
formulated the print media production flow that comprises the stages of pre-press, the actual printing process means press and post-press, which includes finishing the printing material. Pre-press includes all the steps which are carried out before the actual printing, the transferring of information on paper. It is divided into three steps, composition of text, reproduction of graphics and assembly and plate making. The composition of text refers to the writing information through text, graphic, design and formatting of text. The reproduction of graphics refers to edit the pictures and graphics in the imaging software such as Photoshop in which color separations and corrections can be optimized for actual printing. After having the text and graphics material ready for layout, the technical assembly of text, graphics and pictures is required. Graphics design is the arrangement of type and visual elements along with specifications for paper, ink colors and printing processes that when combined convey a visual message. Graphics design is an important part of pre-press which includes page layout, color schemes, selecting pictures, drawing illustrations, typography, etc. The layout software such as Quark Express or InDesign is the perfect example for page layouting. Technological advances have also made it possible to transfer the information and graphics directly from the computer to the printing plates, bypassing the need for films which eliminated yet another middleman from the production process. Press Printing here the press is meant to be actual stage of printing. Printing is the process of reproducing an image by pressing an inked surface to substrate that received the impression. At times, various printing technologies can be grouped together to achieve the desired results. For example, digital and offset printing can be grouped. The multicolor cover pages of a magazine can be printed by digital printer whereas single color pages can be printed on a single color offset. The offset press is the most cost effective way of printing bulk printed materials due to its speed and low paper cost. Post press After the printing is finished the pages are put together and organized. Post press processes are starting to become automated but not to the same extent as pre-press and printing processes. This can create a bottleneck in the process if the finishing stage is not done as quickly as its preceding stages. The reason why post-press is not completely automated is because of the complexity of the processes which requires more manual intervention. After printing, the product needs to get binding, sometimes called finishing. This stage includes many steps as per requirements of the end product. The trimming, folding, laminating, stitching, perfect binding or hard books binding are some of the processes of bindery depending on the product for client requirements. The final step of any publication is packaging and delivery of the printed product. It can be wrapped making stacks for magazines or can be box packed depending on the mode of transportation for delivery. <music> delivery of the printed jobs also requires a separate plan. The customer can pick the jobs from the printer or they can be delivered by the printer to customer. In case of periodicals such as magazines and newspapers, they generally deliver directly by the printers to the end users due to time constraints. 
Professional printing houses generally have separate departments for mailing for their clients. The mailing department is responsible for timely delivery of the printed product to the end users. They create the mailing database of the customers and with the help of specific software, they deliver the product. This is what a print production team does. The primary function of these personnel is to manage the print jobs, whether it is a large volume printed material or the small one. As per the requirement and type of the printed material desired by the client customers, these stages have different functions. Right from the client specifications, graphic design, pre-press, printing operation, binding, packaging and mailing. To achieve the desired results, all the stages should be followed and executed correctly. Conclusion In this lecture, we have learnt about print production and its use in the modern printing technology. We analyzed a few global trends in printing as well. The history of printing processes and its global spread has been discussed briefly. The stages of print production and its various processes have been briefly analyzed. The three important aspects of printing, pre-press, press and post-press have also been dealt with in the final sections of the lecture. Thank you.